Hello, people, back again, and this time we're going to talk about EAM Comcast. Uh, basically, they're close to signing a deal. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that would make EA published games available on Comcast X1 television operating system. X1 is an HTML5 based streaming platform for TVs oper offering apps, internet, cloud services, and DVR. According to the report, after two years of testing, Comcast and EA are close to reaching an agreement to stream video games such as FIFA and Madden into living rooms of some of Comcast more than 22 million customers across the United States, said the sources, who declined to speak publicly before a deal has been struck. The initial tentative lineup of EA games includes FIFA, Madden, Monopoly, and Plants vs. Zombies, writer says. Customers will be able to use tablets as controllers. Comcast wants casual and family games on its platform first, with shooters and action games added later based on user feedback. EA and Comcast are still negotiating with revenue share and a release date undecided now, the report says. Now, as the future moves on, and obviously cable companies are trying to stay relevant, trying to stay around, you know, or media companies in general, they're going to go after the most popular thing, which of course would be video games. Now, this is obviously started two years ago. The living room is still the battleground. Whoever controls the TV, the central hub of the house, controls the entertainment in the house. That a lot of people still focus around that room for entertainment. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. Our, the problem with this service is why it's great and for the future may work out. For people who are not gamers who buy consoles. People who want to play video games but don't want to own a console, this service might work based on only one simple thing. If they have the internet connection to handle it. Streaming is still choppy at times, no matter how good your connection is. Streaming still has flubbers and flaws, and when it comes to a video game, especially an all-streaming video game, you cannot have that happen. There's still a large percentage of this country, let alone other countries, that do not have internet speeds fast enough all over the place to support this. There's a, there's a group that can and there's a group that can't. Until that, that divide is, like, until that thing gets closer together, this is why a service like this would never reach all 22 million Comcast customers. Because now you're a Comcast customer, the internet would allow them to stream this service. <clears throat> why, it sounds like a cool ideal? Will this ideal actually ever take off more than the experimental stage? Will it actually hit? I mean, it may like actually get announced and get released, but how many people are actually going to say, you know what, I, I really I really want to pay for this service so I can stream my video games, HDMI L5 based streaming platform from a TV, and I'm going to use my tablet as my controller. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Down the road, this might work. Now, again, on live, tried this. Other things have tried this. And I don't know. I understand two companies trying to figure out something for the future. This is a test thing. And yes, there are people who love FIFA. There are people who love Man Plants for Zombies Monopoly. EA has a powerful brand of games. I just don't know now if this is viable. Five, ten years down the road? Maybe. Now, don't get me wrong. Today, people are probably downloading and buying more games digitally than ever. And they're thinking that they that people will pay a price to just stream their games. Hey, pay this monthly fee, and you can play any of these EA games on your television you want. It, it depends on how big the library they have. If you're a big FIFA fan, you don't want to spend 60 bucks every year, pay a little bit every month, maybe what you want. I don't know. I don't know if people really want that. For me, I wouldn't do this. I see no reason to pay a fee to stream it on my TV through them. Because I think ultimately that service will eventually hit consoles or something. But when you think about this, that EA and Comcast is ruined, that they're going to, through Comcast X1, allow you to basically... 
stream games to your TV. And play it. The tablet being a control. Do you think that's a cool thing? Are you into it? I mean, I care. We do not buy it at all. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Like always, thanks for watching.